Poetry in motion as Atlantis conducts the final R-bar pitch maneuver in shuttle program history. Six feet separating Atlantis from the International Space Station, standing by for contact and capture. Contact docking confirmed. Capture confirmed at 10.07 a.m. Central Time. Atlantis, which began the era of international cooperation in space with the first shuttle docking to the Mir space station, comes full circle. The space shuttle has arrived at the International Space Station for the final time. Atlantis arriving. Welcome to the International Space Station for the last time. That's great to be here, station. We'll see you shortly. This is Mission Control Houston. As you can see, we're seeing live onboard video from the International Space Station. Uh, now the Expedition 28 crew getting ready to welcome the STS-135 crew. The uh, pressurized mating adapter hatch itself is now open. That occurred at 1125. We're waiting for the uh, final hatch to be open, and that will signal our official hatch opening between the two crews. You see the Expedition 28 crew there taking some uh, pictures. As you can tell, it's not only a historic event for us here on the ground, but also for the crew. There is Commander Chris Ferguson of STS-135. Uh, making his way on board the International Space Station. He is greeting the Expedition 28 Commander Andre Borisenko. Hey, Sergey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good to see you. Oh, my goodness, my long-lost Japanese friend. How you doing, buddy? Big Mike. How you, bud? Good, man. <laughs> the pilot Doug Hurley making his way on board as well as uh, with a camera, documenting this historic occasion. Rex Walheim and Sandy Magnus also uh, floating their way up through the hatches as well. So the entire STS-135 crew now on board the International Space Station. We'll stand by, listen to these crews greet one another. On the one hand, I know we all felt a great sense of excitement and a great sense of anticipation as we uh, came to participate in, in this highly complex, highly technical, and um, uh, very precise series of operations, but at the same time, I think it, it did start to weigh on on the team in my in my perception um, that uh, that it was going to be the last one. And so, uh, uh, again, you know, my my team is filled with consummate professionals, some of the best I've ever worked with. And so, there was certainly no emotional impediment to good performance today. But uh, I think it's fair to say that that uh, the uh, the finality of of uh, our executing this particular series of operations was, was felt.